DeMarco, I, I think for a lot of fans, Marcus Mariota is kind of an enigma. Right? I mean, they know Jameis. He's loud. He gives speeches. He's out there giving interviews all the time. Mariota, though, is, is a guy that I don't know that a lot of fans really know because he doesn't really talk much. Tell me something about Marcus Mariota that no one at home knows. I mean, like, like PlayStation, does he play guitar? Does he hate pizza? I mean, anything. No, you know what? He, he's a guy that just leads by example, and that's one of the things that you know myself and everyone in this organization, and I think around the league, you know, players, you know, I think they respect him for being the kind of guy, the humble, you know, type of person that he is. That you know, isn't a guy who is a kind of boasts about himself, and he's a guy who's a you know a hardworking guy, day in and day out, plays through injuries, plays through through any you know anything. And I think that's for me, you know, I, I respect. Him. That more than anything, he's a Heisman Trophy winner. He's a guy who's had a lot of success around his college career and in, in the NFL this year. He's the same guy who comes to work every single day, smiling, laughing, and, and you know I think he tries to keep you know his personality. Um, you know, just that's that's who he is. He's not a big rah 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 type of guy, and he just leads by example. What's he like in the huddle? Is he loud? Does he try to make you laugh? No, no, he's the same way. There's times where I get a little, a little angry at him because I can't hear him when we're playing away when he's calling the plays. But I think he does a great job at just, you know, um, just staying level-headed. And no matter what the situation is, whether it's, you know, we're down by 20 or up by 20, he's the same guy. He doesn't change his emotions, and you know, he definitely is a island type of guy with with his personality and his emotions. You know, it's funny you say that you have you sometimes you can't hear him. You, there are coaches like John Gruden, for example, now on TV that people call quarterback whisperers. I used to joke that Mariota was the whispering quarterback, so I, I wasn't making that up. You sometimes can't even hear him. Oh yeah, definitely. He, he's a guy. He's a soft-spoken guy, and um, you know, but uh, I think he's getting better at it. But um, he's a guy that. Every now and then, I gotta, you know, just ask him two or three times. Hey, what, what'd you say? What'd you say? So <laughs> he, he, he's doing a good, he's doing a good job at, you know, leading us. That's great. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.